All right, today on Strongman Garage, replacing wheel bearing hub assembly on a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500 two-wheel drive. My buddy's truck, you can see this one was a little messed up. Well, I'm gonna dig into there later, because uh, you can kind of see the metal on metal there. Got this new hub assembly, there's three bolts, I already took it off, so I'm not really that helpful, gonna be that helpful for you, but I'll show you how to put it back on. All right, so. Placing the wheel bearing hub assembly on a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500 two-wheel drive. See the old one. The wheels were about to fall off. It's pretty bad. We'll open that up later and see how nasty it got, because that's always fun. Um, I already took it off. I wasn't, wasn't sure what it was, so I wasn't planning on making this video, but hopefully uh, putting it back on is somewhat helpful. There's three 18 millimeter bolts that go from the back side of the spindle back here and that's how you take it off and I'm gonna put those back on first you have to also take the brake caliper and uh, the brake caliper adapter plate off too which is I believe a 19 millimeter bolt and like uh, the other ones are something like 12 millimeter or so but we'll get to that when I get put it back on so you want to make sure you uh, put the backing plate so it's uh, you know kind of conforming to the hub because we uh, learned that earlier and that's why I have to redo this video. The magic of YouTube. <laughs> Don't listen to what I say to do. Just kind of thread uh, these 18 millimeter bolts through, get each one kind of getting started a little bit. There's three of them. They should be torqued on pretty good. You definitely want to check uh, uh, the service manual to what to torque them down to. I'm definitely going to do that later. Also, make sure to use proper equipment when you're uh, redoing this. This is like one of those roadside repairs. We got a nice scissor jack underneath. Got my sandals on. At least I'm getting cleaned up with on-the-go towels. These are pretty awesome if you work on cars because uh, I'm all greasy and they just, one little pack, keep them in your toolbox in the back of your truck. You have to work on something. Don't ruin your interior when you get back in if you have to do a roadside repair like this. Let's thread these all in. Get them all started evenly before you tighten them all up. 18 millimeter socket. Get them going. Okay. Tighten all those up kind of, anytime it's like this, you want to go in a cross pattern, tighten this one, tighten this one, tighten that, kind of go around in a circle instead of over tightening one and of course torque them down to specification. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten all this up then uh, put the caliper on. We're gonna be good to go. So you want to load up the cal. Uh, sorry, so you want to load up the brake pads and the caliper bracket. There is two bolts on the back side, which I think are 19 millimeter, but I have a 13 16 here on the side of the road, and it appears to be working. Thread those in the back over here. Started. Throw the caliper on. No. Hold me closer, time to get Count the headlights. Compress this. Uh, I'm gonna have to compress the brake caliper right here using a tool or a C clamp so I can get enough room to slide it on over this. 
All right, so compress the wheel cylinders back using a C-clamp. It works fine. You, if you can, you want to get like an old brake pad in between so you're not putting right into the right into the pistons. But is what it is. We're on the side of the road getting this done. Uh, I think these are 12 millimeter bolts, but again, same thing. Half inch going to work in a pinch right behind here to attach the the brake. The what the hell are these things called? The caliper, Lumber. yeah, the brake caliper to the other thing. It's been a long day and I need a course or Miller Lite. So get this on there, tighten it all up. And hopefully the wheels aren't gonna fall off now. These you don't wanna over tighten. They're little smaller bolts. They don't take too much. to go hopefully this helps you do everything i didn't do subscribe on youtube other videos and uh we'll see what we need to fix on the side of the road next time